<laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good to have you here this wonderful Monday morning. We got our alarm going off, and you know what that means. That means it is 8 a.m., and if it is 8 a.m., that means that we have eight minutes together to get our day started, to get our week started. And I am grateful for it. I'm grateful that I was able to open my eyes in the land of the living this morning because it means that God has an assignment for me. If he has an assignment for me, he has an assignment for you. And I'm just grateful that we are here together so that we can start our day in a wonderful way, start our week in a wonderful way. God is so good to us and we're just grateful. I'm just grateful this morning, grateful to be here. Um, grateful that uh, my body is lining up and my throat is going to be fine in the name of Jesus. And uh, let's start. I know my morning crew is going to be coming on very, very soon, but I want to go on and start. I'm going to start with the morning prayer this morning as they are coming together. So good morning, Heavenly Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you for letting us open our eyes and giving us time to pray. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who died upon the cross so that all our sins could be washed away and our souls would not be lost. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your constant guiding hand so we can be about our father's work and fulfill his master plan. Amen and hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we've got some of the morning crew coming on this morning. You are a little slow this morning. What in the world? <laughs> Good morning, Linda Cooks. Glad to have you on this morning. And Carmen Thompson. Carmen says, Good blessed morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Carmen. Glad that you are here. Well, our traveler friend, Cena Booker, is on the line this morning. Glad that you look like you had a great weekend, friend, Cena, and that's wonderful. Glad you're here this morning. Good morning to you, Paula Obi. Looking forward to a great day today? I sure hope you are. Expect his best. Good morning, Ida. Good morning to you. Glad you are with us this morning. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I do have a victory verse for you this morning. And it goes like this. He won't leave you or forsake you. <laughs> He's with you all the time. And you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You don't have to be in darkness. That's where the world would have you stay. But when you give your life to Christ, you will find a better way. You may be feeling all alone, even in a crowd. The noise of life may seem to have the volume turned up loud to drown out the voice of God and escalate your fears. But you will always reap in joy what you have sown in tears. I could go on forever and talk about his grace and his loving kindness and how I seek his face how he's my protector, deliverer, and king, how he's my faithful provider and ruler of everything. With all his mighty attributes, when I reflect upon his power, it puts my mind at ease no matter what the hour. I know that I can overcome the obstacles I see because a sovereign God is with me, and that's good enough for me. Hallelujah. Positive point of power to start our week. God never fails. He never fails. I don't know what, what you are facing. You may not even know. There may be something unexpected coming your way today. Some of it may be good. Some of it may not be good. But regardless, God never fails. He is always in control. He is always, always a part of the plan for your day. When you seek his face and get his instructions, you know that you are not alone. You are never alone. And whatever he has told you, you can expect it to come to pass in his timing. He's got to align some things. He's got to set some things in order. He's got to make sure that you are ready to receive. But one thing for certain, he never fails. So whatever is happening in your life, put that there. Put that in the comments. Put that in your mind. Put that in your thought process. It may seem tough. 
It may not seem like you can make it. It may seem that everything is against you, but God never fails. Whatever he has said to you, you can take it to the bank because it's coming to pass. It may not come to pass when you think so. It may not be in the timing that you desire, but God is always right on time. He always knows what you need. He always knows when you need it, and he never, ever fails. If God said it and you tried it once and it didn't work and you tried it again and it didn't work, be steadfast. Hold on. Keep persevering because if he said it, it shall come to pass. He is not a man that he should lie. He is faithful. He never, ever, ever fails. It may seem impossible, but he is a God of the impossible and he never fails. Seek his face. Listen for his voice. Follow his instructions because he never fails. I want you to be encouraged today. Somebody may be just facing something that seems insurmountable to them. You just, you're just feeling a little bit overwhelmed. You get that way sometimes. Life will do that to you sometimes because the enemy is always at you trying to get your peace, trying to shake you, trying to make you be afraid. But those are the times that you got to sit back and say, you know what? I'm not entertaining any of that. I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not going to put any energy into that. If it's negative, you know it's not God. If it's causing you to fear, you know it's not God. But God never fails. He's omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent. He can do anything. There is nothing too hard for him. So if you can't, you better know God can. Hallelujah. And you're going to start your week that way. You're going to start every day that way. Keep that in your mind. Keep that a part of your thought process that God never fails. He never, ever fails. That's just good news, guys. I don't know how you feel about it, but that puts some strength back in me, gives me some joy for the morning, joy for the week, because I know he will never leave me or forsake me. I know every word that he has given me, every promise that he has given me, it is going to come to pass. That encourages me. That strengthens me. That puts joy back in my soul, I'm telling you. So get ready for a great day today. If you have a positive a sentence, a power sentence that you want to put in the comments, you feel free to go ahead and do that. But I want you to remember today that God never fails. He never fails, Carnethia. Francina, he never fails. Carmen, he never fails. Oh, I tell you, I tell you, he never fails. Brandon, remember, he never fails. God never fails. Oh, my God. I am just so grateful. Paula, he never fails. Look for him to do exactly what he said he was going to do. Let me see who else. Linda, remember, God never fails. You've been talking to him about something, and he never, ever fails. He's going to bring it to pass. Whew, I hope I got everybody. If I didn't call your name, just know, just know, God never, never fails. Make it a great day today. Come on back tonight at 8 p.m. We're going to give God praise. Have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. God never fails.